Great to meet someone new. It's a fresh page. The start of a melody. Anything can happen. You know, as much as I love wandering around, well, often running or fleeing, do you happen to know somewhere safe I can stay? Maybe work on some music? I'm handy to have around. I've got skills. Oh, I knew traveling with Paige and the gang would pay off one day. Yes, I did. Listen, I need to say goodbye to some friends before I head over. I know it's a lot to ask, but would you mind setting up my guitar at your camp? You get that set up and I'll trundle right over. <laughs> Promise. Ooh, this is exciting. I have a really good feeling about this.
this paint. We got all the powder we need. Enough to trade. You really want to put black in the hands of anyone? Anyone who ain't Scrotus. I need you to open a passage into the Dead Barons for me to send caravans over. You get me one of the big fuel trucks out there and we'll pack it with explosives. It should make a big hole in that wall. You'll be able to feed your shooter and the Dead Barons too. Stay. Got the car. Take care of the car. I'll watch the angel. Call us when you're ready. Tired of you. Your deeds, your wars, your car, your monster mechanic. Settlers. Brotherhood's always looking for good tech, if you find any. Hello, Russell Dorsey, Brotherhood Initiate. Welcome to Fort Atlas. Well, this is Fort Atlas, new headquarters of the Brotherhood of Steel in Appalachia. The Brotherhood's in the process of getting everything in order here, but already people from all over Appalachia are turning up. Some need help, some want to join, but it seems like everybody's curious what comes next. I just say what Paladin Romani says. We're here to help. Uh, looking to sign up? Or just curious? Well, either way, I guess it's not me you want to talk to. Most of the fort's off-limits to civilians, but if you're interested, Knight Shin's in charge of the new recruits. He's very serious about protocol and security, so you'll have to speak to him first if you want to get anywhere. I have real duties to attend to. The outer perimeter is still unsecured, the provisions aren't properly stowed, and we're awash in hopefuls. I have no time to be babysitting civilians. Your duties are what I say they are, Knight. Your objections are noted, but this is a direct order from your commanding officer. Help us put on a good face for the local people. We've just moved into their backyard. They're nervous. Show them we mean no harm. If you insist, Paladin. If there's nothing further, I'll have the completed report on your desk shortly. I expect nothing less from you. As you were, Shin. Paladin. tries to attack. I am not we'll a receptionist, ready. civilian. I have actual work to do. Fortifications appear adequate. If rushed. If you're here with a request for the Brotherhood, get in line. I don't have time for you right now. That was a Brotherhood matter, civilian, and none of your concern. You're trying my patience, so get on with it. 
Knight Daniel Shin, Brotherhood of Steel, First Expeditionary Force. We've got important work to do here, so get to the point. Did he? Initia Dorsey is supposed to be manning his post at the entrance, not acting as my secretary. The specifics of our mission are not for discussion with civilians. We're here under orders from Elder Maxon. Stay out of our way, and we won't have any problems. Old world science solved a lot of problems back in the day, but look what else it brought. I'm glad we guard our tech closely. I am not known by my initiates for tolerating foolishness, outsider. Persist in that tone, and you will learn how much less I tolerate it from civilians. That is within the scope of Paladin Romani's directives. It takes more than just asking, of course. You would have to prove yourself. If you are sincere about wishing to join our ranks, you would have to earn the approval of the officers here, including me. Is that why you're here? Another hopeful dreaming of service to the Brotherhood. If you mean that, then you are right. But if that's sarcasm, I recommend you stow it. Immediately. Normally, I'd stick you with the other hopefuls until we decide whether you're worthy. But, if you're serious about joining us, you've got good timing. There's something you could do for me that would help the Order and demonstrate your qualities as a candidate. We've had a number of civilians show up here at Fort Atlas, asking for one thing or another from the Brotherhood. People are afraid or want something, or are looking to involve us in local squabbles. Civilian outreach is not my specialty. There's too much left to do to secure this facility. If you're really interested in helping, save my time. Interview the petitioners, find out what they want, and report back to me. To be in the Brotherhood is an honor, and a life of service. If that's truly something you want, start here. Perform this duty well, and we can talk about your future. Do this right. Don't make me regret giving you the opportunity. Conduct yourself properly, and we can consider putting you forward as an initiate candidate. Straight from the unforgiving wastes. I want to join the races. You see that slate? You put your mark on it. Then I'll put you in the murder dome. <laughs> you, uh, you worked the blood and gut circuit for a couple of years. Survive it. Make champion. Then maybe I can start grooming you. For a shot in the races. No time, Jawbone. I need to join the races now. Uh, okay. Maybe we can find a spot for a man of your uh, temperament. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In return, for a favor. A very dangerous, possibly suicidal favor. Huh? You see. See these? These are lights. But they fade. And when they fade, I fade with them. But a man, a very desperate man, were to fetch me some new ones. You follow me, Wastelander? You want new bulbs. I want new lighties! Yeah! I want a lot of them! I asked them all! The gang... The gang baggers, the torpedoes! The newsmen, but no one would help me. You know why? Because they don't have the stones for buzzing country. Tell me exactly where they are. You follow this, 
and you'll get to the Underdo. Turning back. Oh, what crouching horrors await us in that gloom. Keep your eyes open and your voice down. No, 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 this is not right. It ain't right. It ain't right to bring them back to Mopas and set his record ball. This will surely be our grave. Studying me. Get out of here then. belly of the underdog.
murky hollows and holes. <laughs> they were once filled with older worldly goods and treasure. Now empty. We go deeper. Until we find where we came from. Not by car, anyway. Oh, tread lightly. Who knows what terrors lurk in that cold? <sighs> Here they all are. Our cries errand boys. Finish the task I gave you. Good. Let's get this done. I have the list from their arrival. Give me the high level overview. The Brotherhood is not a charity, and our mission does not cover providing civilians with equipment to pursue their personal interests. Unless the doctor intends to provide that research to the Brotherhood exclusively, and under our supervision, he will get nothing. Then? He can peddle his snake oil somewhere else. The wasteland is full of people claiming to be scientists or doctors. They are rarely either, and usually cause more harm than good. Next report. I am second in command of this entire operation. That I have other things requiring my attention does not mean a task is not required. Paladin Romani wants these people to be heard, and you agreed that you would assist me in this. Do not make me regret the trust I've shown. We are not mercenaries here to serve as guards for anyone with some goods so, to trade in payment. Let us take care of things here. This is not a charity. As a civilian, 
you are free to play hero for everyone that comes to you with a sad tale. The Brotherhood, however, has a duty to its mission, and that does not include playing bodyguard. Enough about that. What's next? Impossible. Whatever happened, it was not us. Toes. That sounds like something Paladin Romani would say. But what he believes is of no concern of ours. Our people did not rob this man. We are not involved, and it should remain that way. Give me your next report. No, we are not arms dealers. There was never any circumstance in which I would authorize weapons to that woman. But your vigilance is noted. That covers everyone. Against my initial judgment, you have shown that you can take orders and make yourself useful for the Brotherhood. You need to lose those soft civilian instincts, but I will make note of your assistance in my report to Paladin Romani. Should you wish to join our ranks, I will not oppose your enlistment. I grant you permission, provisionally, to enter the compound proper. Go to our scribe Valdez. You will need her support as well if you want Paladin Romani's attention. What I am going to do is make the recommendations I see fit in my report to Paladin Romani. As the commanding officer, the final decisions will be hers. And your concern in the matter ends here. Orders and duty are the lifeblood of the Brotherhood. You are not yet one of us. Consider it a suggestion. Heroes of Fort Defiance. Well, I hope you convince the Brotherhood to make good. This is my place. My mission. What? Why not? Well, at least you listen. This is more than any of these Brotherhood types did. And yeah, thanks for that much. I'm gonna get back to the grind. I spent too much time here as is. You watch your back out there. And with these guys. We have to cut ourselves free from America to rebuild America. Take the old and forge it anew. in service of the brother. Is a step forward. Make it back again, huh? You talk to that military fella upstairs. Now that's mighty right of you. Whether they do or not is on them, but you got my thanks for your part in it. Well, I'll be moving along back to the farm soon. Stay out of trouble, you hear? <laughs> hey, got something for little old me? What's the word from the Big Bad Brotherhood, huh? You butter them up for me and my friends. Lots of pew 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 for tally, lasers, and... Plasma and all that? Oh, man, why'd you gotta do a thing like that? You just gotta ruin this for me. I never did nothing to you. I mean, uh, not that I am a raider. That's nuts. Stupid that you would think that. If I was a raider, I'd probably be mad about this. You'd be looking over your shoulder for me and my friends. But lucky for you, I'm not. Now scram! Hope you've got eyes in the back of your head. Did you wish to speak? Yes. Did you need something else? Your enthusiasm is refreshing. I could discourse on the subject for hours, if allowed. Regretfully, I am preparing to return to my lab, and do not have the time. Perhaps if we meet again in more congenial circumstances. You looking at something? No matter. I did tell you not to bother. Still, I regret that I have not convinced you of the import of my work. Should we ever meet again, perhaps I can remedy that. I will be leaving shortly. Take care. The Wasteland holds many dangers. Keep your wits and your health about you. Farewell.
Speak or go away. I do not tolerate eavesdroppers. Something I can do for you. Better be ready. <laughs> My ladies! <laughs> I'll sparkle for miles! But you're still alive. And now I'm joining the races. Looks like you earned it. Let's see. Well, that can work. Ah. Just have a, a little accident. And presto! A new contestant! <laughs> What's your handle, lighty boy? Yeah. One more thing. You need a partner. Someone cleared for fighting at the Gastown races. Yeah. Well, not too many left to choose from. I'd hurry. Fryer is a dangerous man. I'd advise... We are done prepping. My children are ready. The long journey awaits. They won't even make it through Dead Baron's Pass. I would ask you one last favor. The way I see it, only you have the skills and experience to get the truck through the jaw. Once we're safely out, my children will assemble the ship and set sail. What do you say? Not for free. You'll be rewarded. The truck is set up outside with the dune barge and all equipment packed in tight. Good luck, traveler. We all need it. <laughs> <laughs> 